Hello everyone, this is Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. I am uh, finishing up my last little bit of stitches on this piece that I have uh, for my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. And this prompt was for um, favorite embroidery or vintage embroidery or, you know, some, something like that. So um, I thought that I would just do something that I don't normally do, which was just go ahead and finish stitching this last little tiny bit here on. I'm doing a seed stitch, and then I'll explain to you what I've used here. And I'm a little slow with my embroidery, and that's the reason why I don't uh, usually film it, is because it takes me so long to do it. And so I just have this little tiny piece left, so I thought that I would finish it. I'm doing seed stitches. Um, I just didn't want to leave the fabric with nothing on it. So I am just doing a little seed stitch. And I don't always um, talk a lot when I'm stitching because I'm usually by myself. But... Uh, I had this pretty piece of cross stitch and really, to be honest, I didn't have that many uh, pieces of embroidered uh, stuff to choose from. Not that, I mean, that was actually the colors that I needed. So I cut this out and I cut the the picture out and then I applicate it onto this piece of a doily here that has some very thick embroidery on it. I guess it's embroidery. It's what it, it's kind of more like a rope, I guess, but it does have some embroidery on it. So I thought that I would uh, just put it in the middle here. There was a different um, there was a different flower there, but it was blue, and it just didn't really work out for, for my piece. The colors were wrong, and although there is a tiny bit of blue on here, I think it's going to be fine. Um, I just have to turn this around every so often so that I can get the angle right for my stitching. Um, like I said, I'm slow, and takes me a long time and I usually stitch at night watching some show on TV or watching YouTube or a movie maybe. Um, I stitch in front of the TV no, no matter what I'm watching. So um, So I have another piece that I've already finished that I will show you in a minute as soon as I'm done with this. And then I'll show you where I'm planning on putting this. Although I haven't quite decided if maybe I should um, do something with these flowers. I am thinking no, I'm not going to thinking I'm going to leave them, at least for now. And there might be a prompt that comes up later that I could um, do something with it. Like, I'm kind of hoping that we get maybe some uh, fabric piecing or something. I don't know if we will. Um, It's just hard to tell what we're going to get next, <laughs> but uh, we have another week with, with this prompt before we get the next one. So, um, I want to put a few more stitches right down in here. This looks a little sparse to me, so I'm going to come back and do a few more here, 
and and then I think this piece will be finished. So how is everybody? I don't think I ask how everybody was doing and if you're doing any stitching or other types of crafting because I know a lot of you that that watch this also do junk journaling and I do too but I haven't in a while um, because I've just really gotten so into this um, I do have a journal started, but I haven't worked on it very much. I think I need to put another stitch or two right in here. And then I think, for the most part, this piece is done, at least for now. Um, so... more stitches and I'll have it. I think this is going to do it right here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to come down here and put one or two more and then I'll be finished. Just kind of working my way down to the bottom here. I'm kind of all thumbs when I'm doing this stuff. Um, my hands shake and there's other issues. So, um, but anyway, I think that does it. So, you see? I, I appliqued this piece down. I cut it out of, an, of a, uh, another piece and then um, seed stitched all around it. And now I'm not going to do anything with these yet, but I may come back later and do something. But for now, it's finished. So, um, like I said, our prompt was uh, embroidery pieces, favorite pieces of embroidery or stuff, something like that. So here, you might remember if you've watched my, if you've watched my um, other uh, videos, you might remember I had this piece of um, ribbon embroidery and I wanted to use it and I was thinking about using it up here around my applique, I mean my uh, monogram, and I didn't use it. Everyone said, wait and use it later. Well, I think I'm using it right here. I added this piece on to a piece of this doily, and so I think it's going to be right there is where it's going to live. And then, um, as for this piece, I haven't quite figured that one out yet. I'm thinking, let me pull this down. Um, I'm thinking about moving these, this here. Um, maybe actually putting it this way and I'm going to put it all the way over here and then I was thinking about putting this one right here um, I might would have been better off if I would have turned it this way but I didn't so it's going to go I think it's going to go here um, because I could put it there like that, which I think would look fine. Um, let 
I'm just not sure. I know I'll have other things to put in here. So maybe for right now, I'll just do that. So I'll put this back where it was. Um, I'm still not ready to commit to where my pieces are going to uh, be on here. Let me see. I want to get this straight when I put it down. So I just, I'm not sure yet. I thought I would wait through one more set of prompts. And hopefully by the end of this month, I will pretty much know where I want things to go. I mean, the pieces are done. All they have to be is just added to this. So I don't think there's really any hurry in um, deciding where I'm going to put them. As far as that goes, it'll be easy to stitch them down. And then I'll know how much space I have in between if I want to um, add anything else. But um, I could always put them in, uh, stitch them down and then take it out and move it if I wanted to. But um, I'm not in any hurry yet to actually um, commit to where it's going to go. So anyway, that is this one, which I'm very happy with the way it turned out. And then here is, whoops, I didn't even get that one pinned down. Um, the other one that I did. So those are my two embroidery pieces for my wall hanging. And now, well, I still don't have that one. That is some thick uh, stitching behind there. It's down this time. <laughs> okay, now I'll show you um, what I'm thinking about for Miss Rabbit's apron. Um, I found this uh, handkerchief, and I'm thinking that this will be what I put down. I'm going to go ahead and and just kind of cut it because I'm going to cut it anyway. And if I just go ahead and cut it, I'll be able to think more about how it's going to go. And I'm thinking right now that I'm going to put it right down here. I don't want to cut off too much. I will be um, I'm not sure. I may, I may try um, needle turning on this one. I haven't done that yet, so I might do that. But I'm thinking this might be a good spot for, for that to go. What do you think? This will be turned under, so it won't be... It'll kind of go up the side here somehow. And... Be something like this, I guess. And I'll I'll turn this under. I'm gonna try my I'm gonna try my needle. I'm gonna try needle turning. I've never never uh, attempted it before, but um, I guess there's no time like the present. So it'll go just about something like this will be the way it'll be on there. And I think that's rather cute. I could put it this way, which might also be cute, but I, I kind of like it this way. I kind of like it going right up just like this, and maybe at a little bit of an angle where this comes up. What do you think? I think that's good. And then I have some more space here, which I'll need for the other prompts, because we still have a lot of prompts to go. So yeah, that is um, where I'm at. So let me know what you think about where I'm going to put this, and let me know what you think about my uh, 
embroidery pieces that I put on my wall hanging. I appreciate it very much. And thank you for stopping by. And I will talk to you later. Be safe, be well, be happy. Bye-bye for now.